Muy buenos días. Muchas gracias para la invitación. Eh, ya estamos algunos días aquí y conocemos un poco el país vasco. Eh, y yo lo conozco desde muchos años, una vez hace 40 años, 30 años, Eduardo Chiida, cuando yo estuve estudiante del arte, me invitó a su estudio en San Sebastián. Fue para mí una visita muy importante para mis estudios del, del arte, porque empecé con esculturas de acero. Uh, pero al fin uh, salí uh, con arte y memoria y uh, con obras completamente diferentes uh, de las esculturas uh, que hice uh, antes. Uh, y la razón es uh, soy un niño... Uh, eh, nacido en 44 de la guerra y creció eh, con el silencio eh, sobre el holocausto y sobre la historia nazista alemana y eh, es eh, y somos un poco prison, prisioneros de esta historia eh, pero desde 30 años trabajo junto con Andreas eh, en este asunto eh, Arte y Memoria eh, y, eh, pero eh, ahora Andrea habla inglés eh, eh, nosotros hablamos eh, solo un inglés muy malo pero intentamos eh, presentar ahora eh, en inglés, eh, algunas de nuestras obras y ideas. Yes, so uh, now I have to. Uh, yes, this is a synagogue of Eberswalde, a little town uh, like Guernica uh, in the northeast of Berlin, and the uh, This is not uh, burned by the Nazis. It was a, it was a lightning uh, during a thunderstorm several years ago. But then in 38, the same people who helped to extinguish the fire several years ago uh, helped uh, to burn uh, the, uh, the synagogue. Uh, and, uh, There was nothing left. Uh, uh, the Nazis built the fire. Uh, yes, uh, Feuerwehr. Uh, built uh, firefighters. Built, uh, firefighter station there, and later in the communist time, it was a police station, and it was uh, until one uh, 2007. Mm -hmm. Yes, it worked as a police. Uh, station, uh, but and the people, and then they wanted uh, to remember the place of the uh, destroyed synagogue, uh, and uh, we won a competition. Uh, they told us, the uh, city told us there's nothing left, but we started uh, to look uh, for the foundation and under a concrete layer uh, in the building former. Uh, building of the uh, garage of the police station, uh, we discovered nearly all the foundation of the former synagogue. That is uh, also um, in, yes, like a proverb in Germany, don't trust uh, uh, parks, little parks and uh, uh, 
Rasen, empty places, uh, and empty places are, are uh, in the center of German cities. Often it is a, uh, it was a place of the former synagogues, uh, covered with uh, with wall parks and uh, linz. They covered uh, the Mauthausen uh, Nebenlager. It was underneath uh, a shelter, uh, and they covered it with a botanical garden of the city. And we, uh, uh, then uh, we uh, uh, built a concrete wall on the former foundation, so the uh, foundation uh, uh, is now the foundation uh, for the uh, synagogue, and, but it is, uh, there's no window uh, now a uh, door, nobody can enter it anymore. It is uh, it, uh, now the nature takes over and with the time, it is, the name is Growing Memory uh, with the growing of the trees in 20, 30, 40 years you have the volume of the former synagogue uh, is a small uh, uh, is a, sm a small wood, and it works already. This is five years later, uh, and outside you have an inscription which uh, tells uh, the history of the Jewish community. There is no Jewish community uh, more in Eberswalde, and uh, the inscription is done uh, together with the citizens of the city. Uh, so there was uh, some workshops and uh, uh, we, find, uh, the, we found the inscription together <laughs> with the people there. So now we change uh, to the next uh, project. So is this the one? Yeah, you must. Yeah, must yes. So I want to introduce you a project that is on the move. It is an unready um, monument and um, very less people know about uh, the so-called murders on patient, mentally ill patients. In, it started in 1939 Took, uh, uh, went on in the 40, uh, 41 years. It's a murder about 300,000 people in Germany were killed uh, by uh, gas in gas chambers. It was the training of mass murder, mass killing. And so everyone knows the Holocaust, six million uh, people were killed in the Holocaust, but very less um, know about the mentally ill and uh, disabled people which were murdered in, in these early times of the war. And uh, so the war was started in uh, first, September 1st, 39, and but at the same day, uh, Hitler um, announced to, to kill all the people which uh, are disabled, which are not worth to live and uh, are only um, eating food, but not walking, do, do not have any worth. It's a super terrible um, history part of history and uh, so even nowadays uh, there are discussions uh, rising up again with elderly people or, or um, yes uh, who is worth to who has worth uh, an economical or so with this terrible story we are back uh, in, in, in the presence and so this picture shows a photo it was a um, big logistic uh, hidden 
but everyone could know this. In every clinics in all over Germany, um, this was organized by the, by the medicals. Uh, they have to fill out lists where uh, people, uh, where they have to decide where, which people uh, could, could get uh, uh, killed in, into these uh, gas chambers. There were six uh, places in Germany. And so the logistic took part with buses like this, and it was from the uh, Reichspost. Uh, first, uh, they was uh, just the red Reichspost buses. Uh, later, they was uh, painted in uh, green gray uh, lac, uh, like uh, the the war um, paintings of the, of all the vehicles. There was very less vehicles, of course, and so with these buses, there were. Um, transported about 100,000 people to these gas chambers. Later they were killed by <coughs> not feeding and, um, and injections, poison injections. So this is a really terrible story um, which was hidden even until today in so many families because it was uh, until today a kind of stigma <coughs> Uh, nobody wants to be a, a member of a family with a, with some genetic defect. So this is a, disc a terrible discussion until nowadays, where we are, when we are uh, able uh, or, or more able to do the DNA uh, manipulation, genetic things, and all of this prenatal diagnostics. So this is a. Rising up again, the, the story uh, which was hidden so many times. And Horst and I, we was invited to a competition. <coughs> this was in 2005 or six, and we want to bring uh, bring back uh, mm -hmm. this big form of the bus because the buses went to every town, to the cities. There was no Auto routes around they went through everyone could see their buses with the patients and everyone could know about because in more or less every family or every family could know about uh, a person that was killed and Horst and I we designed this bus in a in a in an original size form. <coughs> And one of this, it is eight, uh, around 80 ton heavy, 9 meter long, like a real bus. You can go th through it. It has a, it's cut in the middle so everyone could see. Um, it's not able to, to, to drive. They ha it has no wheel, it's, uh, it's destroyed and the, the one Sorry, because it, something is wrong with the presentation. Um, one blocks the the porch of the uh, clinics of Weisenau Rathburg, that's close to where I live in the south of Germany. So it it blocks the old porch. So this could this never could happen again. What yes. that uh, what took part at that place. And you can go through this, uh, stand between the walls. It has an inscription there, where do you bring us? So this is the question, um, it was historically uh, re uh, documented, where, where do you bring us? So it's, it asks, what are you doing with us? It, it is a loss of shelter, the loss of caring, and um, yeah, I go on with this. And this is the one is blocking the porch, the old porch, the former porch. Um, and there's another one, a second one. It is identically the same size, the same weight, and it's moving. It, it is 
got it moved with uh, vehicles, with a, with a big autogram. It uh, marks the places of the <coughs> deed of the of the gas chambers or clinics, or uh, um, but but in the same way it also marks places where the administration was located. So like this photo shows, it is a wonderful Philharmonie building in Berlin from Ancharun. Uh, the building with the with a very great cultural uh, ability of mankind, but at the same place, exactly at the same place, that's where the bus uh, is, uh, is located, was a former building, uh, a villa, um, where the administration, uh, the, the the main, uh, the headquarter of this uh, murder of mentally ill persons was located at exactly that place the the worst people can create or design to kill other people with do not have any worth it was at the same place like the philharmonic in berlin is now and this sh shows the overlapping of the two buildings. This is the former villa at the Tiergarten Straße 4. That's T4. Is the oh sorry for the T4 is a shortening of this murder. This calls it's uh, standing for the Tiergarten Straße 4. Maybe if you have been to Berlin, you know the Tiergarten, of course. And it's one and a say, uh, one place where both could happen or is uh, happening the the philharmonic with this wonderful uh, culture and it was uh, strange for us when we dis uh, when we organized uh, the bus uh, to Berlin it was two thousand and nine no one of the philharmonics never heard about that story so it, w it was unknown. Even the um, intendants uh, of the, the, the director of the Philharmonic, she, she said, oh no, uh, maybe, maybe I heard about that, but um, she knew nothing. Yeah. And, um, but when we um, put the bus uh, outside of the Philharmonic uh, that uh, day, the Philharmonics helped us uh, giving a uh, dignity, a uh, kind of uh, dignity uh, back again to all the, uh, the victims. And so this bus is moving. It is now being moved by, by Horst and me uh, and people, so many people uh, and at several places, now about 20 places. Um, and it, it's on the road uh, since 11, 11 years, and we uh, in at uh, 8,000 kilometers uh, on the road. And it's an unready project, an unready monument, because it's still on the move, like uh, our memory, uh, mem memory is our uh, 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 already uh, ongoing process. Do you want to add something? To um, <laughs> yes, I just want to add we have a lot of experience because we change this monument always and always different groups ask uh, to get it. Sometimes uh, it is a ministry, sometimes it uh, are uh, different um, uh, active alternative groups in the city uh, the, uh, uh, and so it's always and it's always a different um, framing uh, of this monument and uh, the main experience is if it is ordered uh, by officials by a ministry uh, then 
uh, there is much, uh, there is less activity, less movement uh, than uh, when it is ordered uh, with uh, a process of, of groups, of different groups, then we have much more discussion, much more movement of the, of the memory, much more activity. Uh, uh, in uh, Stuttgart it was uh, sometimes it's only uh, uh, for one uh, ritual that the minister put on the memorial day flowers uh, there so it works always uh, different and uh, there are uh, uh, children groups uh, theaters around uh, uh, this when we install the bus and when uh, we take it away, there are always different rituals, not always the same ritual. And now, uh, last week, uh, we moved it to Hadamar, that is, was an extermination place also near Frankfurt. And uh, there the director is Jan Erik Schulte, and he told me to give the best regards to you because you, you were together in, a, uh, in some of, of these organizations to mention. So he told us, uh, give my uh, regards. Uh, so now we go to the next. Uh, Anderson. This uh, my proposal, yes, uh, for the Brandenburg Gate, uh, no, for the Holocaust Memorial to Schredder the uh, center part of the Brandenburg Gate uh, and to spread out the remains on the site of the memorial place uh, uh, but uh, threw me out in the first round of the jury of the competition uh, but uh, uh, it was the question would uh, the German stand uh, this fact and give their national a symbol as a memorial for the Holocaust, uh, and uh, uh, but it works until today because uh, there are some guide buses uh, uh, stopping in front of the Brandenburg Gate now, and some of the guides tell them there was a crazy artist who wanted to shred this as a Holocaust memorial, but uh, the former director of the German Historical Museum in Berlin, I discussed with him this idea, he, he told me, it was just after the revolution, he told me if the Russians uh, uh, would ask us uh, uh, to destroy the Brandenburg Gate for, to give, uh, uh, for the reunification, of course we uh, would, uh, we had done it, and reconstructed uh, afterwards, <laughs> now after this, uh, but not as a Holocaust memorial, it's uh, Im impossible. And once uh, to, uh, there was a light installation onto the Brandenburg Gate in the memorial night, 27 of January, uh, it means uh, the German should never forget uh, the other uh, mm -hmm. the gates uh, they built uh, when they use now the Brandenburg Gate as a symbol for a new German uh, ident uh, identification or a continuation of history. There is this uh, uh, broken identity and that uh, uh, this uh, photo means that we have to handle to live with this broken identity. Uh, and now we uh, go, I guess uh, perhaps uh, at the end, uh, I am now known as a, a destroyer or sh uh, uh, who want to shred all the, uh, uh, the monuments. Um, but I was invited in Pamplona how to uh, uh, to handle this uh, uh, monumento a los uh, caídos. 
in Pamplona uh, with the crypta of Mola. We have seen uh, the photo of Mola. They uh, took Mola and so Sacheto was the, the other, the name of the other general. Sochet. No. Mola and San Jorge. San Jorge. Uh, now, but the crypta is uh, still uh, under uh, the church, uh, in the, uh, uh, the, the only uh, the monu monument uh, is now should become a cultural place. Or, uh, but I, yesterday we visited uh, in Pamplona uh, the place again, and I asked. I have some friends there, and they told me. Now uh, the uh, politicians uh, of the left, uh, they want uh, to shred it, to destroy it. But my proposal was not to break it as a Bandenburg gate with a, uh, a gate uh, Arbeit mag frei to, to invent, uh, to do a, contextualis a contextualization. Uh, as Liebeskind uh, did, for example, in Dresden with a military museum uh, uh, to set a good uh, signs. And, uh, but and, uh, my idea, uh, our idea was together with Andreas and Rodrigo Yanes, a friend who lives here in Spain, a Chilean exiled uh, friend. And uh, 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 we uh, uh, looked in the internet for uh, uh, museums of the uh, uh, Guerra Civil of the Civil War here. There is no museum of the Civil War. Only some private, in some uh, some private, uh, uh, very small museums from private uh, persons made in their own uh, buildings or, or cellars. And uh, so you could break this monument and to do uh, and to invent a museum of the uh, civil war. That is uh, that would be uh, the best, not to shred it. Uh, uh, but the tendency is the same as the German did with the uh, uh, with the uh, Palace de République in in Berlin. Uh, every a system takes away the monuments uh, from the uh, as, uh, uh, from the other and build on the same place often their own ideology, their own monument. And we have to to cut this, I think, to to leave this and to uh, because Marx in this time of uh, new liberalism. Uh, Uh, a monument works now better than in the time of the communist time, I think. Mm -hmm. So, but Weimar, we uh, we stay shredding buildings. This is in Weimar, in the center, uh, in the Marstall building. There is a main archive of the state there, of the Thuringia state. But in the courtyard was a former. Uh, Gestapo uh, prison in the administration barrack of the Gestapo and they wanted uh, to build underneath a very modern new archive and therefore they cleaned the place from these buildings and they wanted uh, the government wanted that now artists remember uh, the, the history and Andreas and I uh, we um, refused this we uh, uh, our proposal was if the government want to shredder to destroy this then we do this destroying as our uh, as our performance as our artwork and the shredded uh, remains we uh, put on the basis basis of the former buildings we sh spread out this uh, Uh, and uh, we won this competition. They threw me out in Berlin, but to clean up the Nazi uh, story. But here, the entrance uh, door of the uh, Gestapo barrack 
Es ist ein Bauhaus, Gropius, Dorhände. Uh, Gestapo Barrack, uh, with torture, uh, it was a torture place also, with a Bauhaus, Dorhände. That means uh, Weimar, especially, and especially German, uh, German histories. That is for me focused. Here we have shredded it. There's the transportation of history of shredded of crushed history and uh, during they built uh, the underneath archive uh, uh, during five years or more uh, we stored uh, the shredded buildings in containers with mirrors so that people in the uh, um, it was a, a city of culture when Weimar was a city of culture so people visit us Uh, went along and uh, looked into this shredded or crushed history. And then we, yes, and this crushed history, it's written in the, uh, in the stripes which mark the former buildings. And you have, of course, an exp explication, explanation there. But some of these concrete stripes are uh, made by security glass so that you can stand on the crushed history and look through the glass into the archive and there you have uh, the uh, uh, register of Buchenwald, of the concentration camp of Buchenwald. You have uh, the uh, Bauhaus files and uh, you have uh, uh, the uh, Nazi uh, documents and the communist documents of the communist time all together there underneath <laughs> under the good, crushed good, good. history and, and, and the archive has also the administrative correspondence of Goethe so that's German uh, history all together under, uh, under this, uh, underneath of this crushed history Yes, so I go on with uh, a project uh, in Buchenwald, and I don't know whether you. Know just, about just, that. just, uh, just a moment. I forgot the uh, uh, what we wanted to say with our, with these glass stripes and with the hint into the the view into the archive. Better is to go into the archive and to work and to commemorate by this material and to work with this material then uh, then to build monuments and stand in front of monuments so that was uh, yes uh, buchenwald is super close to weimar it's just five kilometers this is this is nothing it's just a hillside of, uh, close to weimar and um, so everyone knows Weimar, of course, as a city of the good sense, the good uh, spirit of the Germans. Uh, Goethe was the minister in Weimar and Schiller was there, Herder, Nietzsche, uh, so many um, uh, writers and uh, compositions, composers. And this, is, this means the good German spirit, but so close. Um, to Weimar there's Buchenwald where there was one of the um, um, yes, um, first and um, terrible camps. It's in a, in a hillside um, to, to the north, north um, uh, orientation, very cold and windy and this is the so-called Appalplatz. It is uh, the next photo shows uh, from the um, Ameri uh, no, it was the British Air Force uh, where they took a photo from the from top, and I want to show you this place because this marks uh, the first commemoration of the. Uh, it, it was a kind of first wooden obelisk monument 
built by the survivors of the camp. It was in April 45, where uh, after the liberation of the camp, and um, it was built uh, in wood. Two or three week, two or three weeks later, it was um, changed into a speech podest uh, where they have the first first of May. Um, yes uh, fest festivity and after this it was totally destroyed so um to to the 50th anniversary of um of the liberation of the camp Volker Knicke the director of Buchenwald invited Horst and me to uh, make a commemoration to the um uh, uh, yes first uh, commemoration, so it is a memorial to a m memorial to a lost memorial, and we could find uh, the place with the with the help of the uh, old photos because the trees you can see in the back uh, are still there, and uh, we had this uh, photos of uh, the air force and. So we marked this place more or less um, with a simple steel plate um, in this wide area. Uh, all the buildings are destroyed uh, during the DDR uh, uh, time by the Soviets. And uh, this plate, this simple steel plate, ha only has some. Um, inscriptions about uh, the names of the nations but if you go down and touch it it is you can feel the warmth of uh, uh, 37 degree of room uh, of human body temperature in the winter the, the snow is melting and and you can feel um, that uh, temperature that uh, all of us uh, not um, concerning the, the the color of your face or uh, your religion or uh, your nation or your sexual uh, um, ideas and so it's it's only human being at that place and this is a place of killing and it's a place of um, human treating. And Mr. Obama was there because his uncle was a member of the um, American troops that helped to liberate the camp. And uh, so this is uh, the reason he came to Buchenwald before he was president and so this is very uh, powerful because um, this, you see the snow is <coughs> melting this is an anniversary <coughs> some years ago um, and the snow is away this is a, a film but it I'm uh, sorry it, uh, it does not work it's from Harun Farroki and um, it shows when the, the pupil came bring a, a, a snowball and it's just melting down, it's melting away. So, the next, must you wait on one? Yes, uh, there is a walk uh, we did uh, uh, to commemorate in the city of Bonn in front of the. Okay, the start of the. Of the. Yes. Uh, uh, so, yeah. Uh, the city of Bonn, uh, a work commemorating uh, the book burning of the Nazis, uh, 1933, uh, and Ah, so we just need. Yeah. Uh, and together uh, we uh, 
put or we uh, yes uh, we built uh, some uh, bronze books uh, into uh, the ground there uh, together with the citizens of the city uh, and uh, to mark the place but it was only uh, to mark the place in, uh, in the center of this place uh, we have a an archive, a small archive underneath and every 10th of May this was the day of the burning uh, when the Nazis burned the books uh, we open this uh, box, uh, this archive and uh, with groups of students uh, sometimes uh, schools, sometimes the university uh, every year a different group uh, makes this ritual, opens it, uh, takes the books, there are the real books uh, there, and they uh, make quotation, they read uh, from the books, and then they give it to the past buyers, uh, to the past buyers uh, uh, as, uh, as a gift, uh, so the books go every year uh, back to the bookshelves. Uh, of the city, and then we have sponsors, uh, 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 bookshops, and so uh, uh, which sponsor this uh, project, and we fill it new, and then the books stay there one year, and the next uh, we. Uh, it's also like the grey buses. There's always a question: how long? Uh, a city or, or the people uh, will do these rituals and if they stop with these rituals stops the memory also when the bus uh, uh, stays in some place is, is, uh, then uh, always uh, uh, are then these uh, victims of the euthanasia murder forgotten too so it's an open process here the action with the citizens, and here we open it. And uh, uh, there's a plate which uh, tells uh, nearly all or a lot of the forbidden and the burned writers uh, there. That doesn't work. So, and then I go uh, to Kassel in front of the uh, city hall in Kassel. The, the town where I live, there was a Jewish uh, uh, entrepreneur uh, who uh, did it, uh, who gave uh, uh, the money for this uh, fountain. Uh, the architect was the same architect who built the city hall, and he built this uh, obelisk as a, a play, as an architectonic play. Uh, because at the other side of the uh, 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 courtyard there was a, a fountain with a figure, and here uh, at the here wanted uh, obelisk uh, architect uh, 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 form, uh, but the Nazis uh, by accident this uh, pyramid has twelve twelve steps, though the Nazis. Uh, uh, told these are means the uh, twelve tribes of the Jewish uh, 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 of the Bible. This is a Jewish symbol, and when Hitler comes to the Reichskriegertag, uh, uh, to, uh, to the staircase there, to the city hall, uh, uh, he should not see such a Jewish. Uh, uh, there was nothing uh, Jewish in it. But they destroyed it, and uh, in a night, during a night, 1939, uh, and then the mayor wanted to rebuild it, uh, but uh, uh, then he, uh, the Gauleiter, uh, uh, didn't want it, and uh, this mayor became a pressure from the party, from the national. Uh, and you see, in the, there are all the documentation in the uh, in the city archive. I studied all these uh, uh, files, and you can see 
how a uh, mayor who wanted to protect, to, to keep uh, this uh, monument that was built in 1909, uh, 1908, uh, 1908 uh, he wanted uh, to have a switched uh, during uh, forty, uh, during uh, four weeks, uh, then he told we have to take it away. Uh, it is a Jewish uh, fountain, and uh, uh, so he changed uh, uh, only during four weeks his uh, mind. So. Uh, yes, and uh, the city wanted to build a new monument there. Uh, in the 18th, 86, uh, but a big um, granite stone with uh, rails of, of water, uh, but dedicated every, uh, every rail uh, to one founder of Kassel, City, uh, uh, Ashrod, uh, together with Henschel. Henschel was a war criminal, was the owner of the tank uh, fabric in Kassel, and Kassel was therefore destroyed also, like Guernica, 90%, uh, and they, um, after this, uh, the citizens and the administration of Kassel, they swore uh, never again a military production in our city. And now Kassel is again a main place of weapon production in Germany. Uh, and uh, so I, then I wrote uh, to the mayor, uh, uh, you cannot uh, put uh, victims and um, perpetrators together in one memorial. And I did this small sketch. Uh, if you want to reconstruct it, uh, my proposal is to reconstruct it as a negative uh, form, 12 meter down uh, into the groundwater, uh, though that, uh, that, that is, yes, it is about the uh, presence of the absence. And uh, in this uh, year, they were open for such ideas because it was a year of the documenta. It was not part of the documenta. But it was, but the uh, curator of the documenta Schneckenburger helped uh, a lot. Uh, uh, in these days, uh, you could not build such a monument in Kassel again. Uh, and the people uh, doesn't like it until today because so much of uh, tax money, and you see nothing, uh, so, uh, or only this empty hole with the falling water. Uh, down and uh, but uh, by uh, this uh, to become came angry uh, the story of Ashrod because it was uh, called the city f uh, fountain after the war and, uh, and uh, everybody thought it was destroyed by English bombs but uh, uh, by this uh, negative monument uh, every, now everybody know again the, the story and the history and tells us again Ashrod uh, in the city. Yes, it uh, was uh, then uh, several weeks there as a concrete form and people uh, uh, thought, ah, this was an old fountain, but uh, then they became very angry when we turned it upside down and uh, and there's only now uh, this because the real monument is always uh, the citizen or the, the passerby uh, who stands on this and thinks why we have this uh, uh, lost form this negative yes and then the neo nazis came and there was a manifestation of the neo nazis but they don't understand this uh, because there is no pedestal no bronze no uh, this was a, a a concert a silent concert on the day of the destruction uh, Memorial Day of the Destruction of the Fountain. Yes, should we uh, 
And no, uh, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, yes, and this is a moment uh, we like and uh, very special. It, it, this was in Frankfurt, it's always a moment when there is a, a, a competition for a big <coughs> monument, memorial, and all there is a colloquium and all the artists and architects join and look, uh, stand around on the place, on the site, and in every, uh, in every uh, brain and in every, in every face, you see they are thinking, what can we do here, what can I invent? And that is the most intense moment. And perhaps uh, uh, you should uh, uh, meet and think and uh, do your proposals and the uh, documentation of the proposal, but uh, don't build the monument. Uh, instead of this, uh, ten years later, a new generation of artists and architects meets again uh, and thinks about uh, history and uh, a new monument. And so to establish such uh, processes that would be uh, perhaps uh, uh, lead to a new form about this uh, memory in public space and monument in public space. Yes, and now we can discuss. between Andreas and me because we are different generation uh, a bit because I am born as a, with this, uh, in the 44, the end of the war, with, grew up with the silence and uh, uh, working with this, uh, uh, I got uh, for example uh, very private that my old father started, by my work, started uh, to open up at least a bit and talk about, uh, about his experience of this uh, time when he was a forester in Riga, in the Baltic, uh, um, uh, in, the, in Latvia, administrating the forests. And in this forest they murdered thousands of uh, people. And you cannot uh, murder uh, uh, so many people without uh, the administration of the woods, of the forestry administration, know about it. So it helps uh, in the infrastructure. So, and also, I started with uh, monuments uh, commemorating uh, or we of the, uh, the victims. And I ended up with blowing up the Brandenburg Gate. Also, from from it's uh, much uh, more difficult I, uh, with the perpetrators because that is our uh, our German part of uh, commemoration of the Holocaust. Uh, uh, the perpetrators, uh, how to uh, yes to stand this fact, and so. Uh, 
it, uh, and it happens more that I'm after so many years working in this I want to get I feel much better in alone in my studio drawing every day uh, but uh, not drawing memorials uh, uh, so I, I want to, uh, for my feeling I want uh, to get out of, of this and not uh, of this uh, uh, but it keeps me prisoner more or less. <laughs> yes, and Andreas. Oh. Hmm? Uh, okay. was? Uh, jetzt habe ich nur für mich gesagt, was für einen Stoff, was das macht mit dir. Ach so. Also, I, I, I thought maybe there's another question, but I can. <laughs> Uh, and so also so I think this exactly this is a great photo that so many brains coming together so much creativity so much action and discussions and hiding of course ideas in this moment yeah. and but this creative process um, keeps so many power in in it, and uh, so when Horst and I, did, during more than 20 years, uh, we designed that many super special uh, forms of memories, memorialization uh, processes, uh, like we um, in, uh, introduced here, and um, so it's a a rental monument, the bus, you can rent, you can borrow this, bring it back. Um, and uh, it's a networking monument also. And uh, the Everswalde project is, is a growing monument. So even when um, Horst and I come back to Everswalde, so each, each year or each second year, it's it's wonderful for us to see what the mom, a monument uh, is, uh, how it's developing, how it's growing, uh, whether it's walking in in a, in a city, and we like to hear the question: When can we go into so? But how? Because the people are gone. The, so. But uh, I just can add, uh, um, by, by profession, I, I am a, a PhD, a doctor of forestry. It's my first <laughs> profession. And uh, so, uh, uh, my own biography uh, mix always with this works. Uh, the a monument in Eberswalde, this forest we built, it's only uh, uh, 200 meters away from the Academy of Prussian Academy of Forestry, where my father, father studied when he came a student uh, in the 20s. Uh, in the 20s, yes, when he came out of this academy, he has seen every day the synagogue. Uh, so uh, and uh, so there's always for me a mixture. And uh, also, yeah, now in Hadama, uh, one of uh, my aunt is uh, murdered uh, in uh, uh, in in Hadama. And now there is a grey bus, and I found find, found out this story uh, uh, during the walk, uh, working on the grey bus monument. And so that, but it's all, it's my. Uh, and uh, her, her brother was one of the leading theoretical, uh, ideological thinkers in Jena at the university and in Weimar about Rassenhygiene. Hygienic about uh, uh, racial, racial hygienic of the Nazis. He, so so this, uh, there's a, uh, always a mixed generation which works for me, yes. 
So what we as artists can do is to is trying to initiate initiate processes. So and more or less all of our uh, projects are something of this. Uh, on we we start processes, ongoing processes. They are developing and going on, going on and. In the end, um, after designing these projects, um, we are more or less visitors of our own uh, works and um, are really interested in uh, what what is happening, what is going on, how the Bonn book uh, piece is going on. Uh, we we also have books and bring back books, and so uh, because we are people of uh, children of what happened all of us and uh, whether in Guernica or in Germany or elsewhere we are that's what we uh, try to to uh, play uh, with uh, you know our artificial um, language uh, to find a um, creative moment like a key into a door and take the handle, open the door more or less, or you can close it again. But with our artworks, we can initiate processes, ongoing processes, not only to commemorate, but to uh, even also to um, to think about what's what's now. Like Horst mentioned, with the with the. Um, Weapons that were built, like uh, in the in the same moment we are sitting here, and uh, where uh, the, the big economic uh, process of the uh, weapon industry until now, and, uh, making creating new uh, victim situations. <coughs> I will say that we have been in English, okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, mi pregunta es un poco eh, cómo convence o cómo hacen que las administraciones pongan dinero mm -hmm. para una cosa que muchas veces ¿no? mm -hmm. critica como, como tal ¿no? al, al mismo sistema de la administración. ¿no? Mm -hmm. My question is how do you convince the administration, the, the municipalities, the others? to put money, to create some monuments in which perhaps uh, even then it's like a critic to the same administration mm -hmm. itself, yes. you know? That, that is, uh, depends always uh, to find the right person <laughs> who <laughs> identify uh, with this uh, uh, with this proposal and often uh, and also uh, then you have always uh, juries uh, also and this is also a problem uh, often uh, you, you must have uh, one who uh, argument uh, make a very good argumentation uh, 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 then I often see the jury and then I dis uh, or we decide Oh, is this really no chance? <laughs> and, and that is uh, the problem, but that leads also uh, to this, that um, a jury has always the people inside the jury and the politicians, they have different interests. And at the end, uh, there comes out a compromise. But art uh, doesn't know compromise, and that is a problem. So you have in this memorial artworks a lot of very mediocre uh, uh, art, uh, because at the end uh, you have uh, solutions of compromises. Because that is uh, the, di uh, the difference between art and politics. In the politics. You need the compromise. It's, it's, it's the soul of politics is a compromise, but not in the art. Mm. <laughs> 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 
interesante es esa idea de participación ciudadana eh, de forma permanente y, y siempre digamos en el proceso de creación es un elemento que se tiene en cuenta. In, in that explanation that you, you yeah. mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, the participation of the people is very, very yeah. important, no? Yes. And you, you take into account mm -hmm. a lot this mm -hmm. participation of the people. Sí, también luego tienen, eh, no ellos en cuenta, pero el, el, ¿cómo decir? Por ejemplo, en el caso de los autobuses, en el caso del autobús, si alguna vez, por ejemplo, ha sido atacado o ha sido... If you, if you take into consideration, for example, in the, in the example of the, those buses, mm -hmm. if uh, it is attacked, mm -hmm. if that monument is attacked. Mm -hmm. Si alguna ha sido atacado y cómo ha sido atacado o no... If it, it has been attacked, why, hey, how, yes. no? Y la, en la misma medida en la mm -hmm. que los libros presentan esa idea de continuidad, de que es algo que hay que ocuparse, y en cómo eso refleja también un poco la otra cara. O... And in that sense that, for example, those books represent that continuity, no? mm -hmm. It, they can represent just the other side of, yes. of the thing, you know? Yes, yes uh, the buses are attacked, uh, but not much uh, twice, or... Uh, uh, but... Uh, in places in Brandenburg, for example, where there's uh, uh, a lot of neo-Nazis, it was uh, not uh, attacked. Uh, but um, uh, this process uh, to uh, involve uh, uh, many people, to work with the people, for example, I have another work uh, done after the Ashford Fountain, Uh, it is uh, the so-called uh, uh, Zod Stone Collection, uh, where I asked uh, uh, students and citizens from Kassel to dedicate one stone to one murdered uh, uh, Jewish citizen uh, from Kassel. And then we have a collection with, we got a collection, it, it was a process more than one year, And at the end, we had more than thousand a collection, more than thousand stones in cajas and cases, and uh, we put them together of a carriage on the deportation uh, on the deportation gate in Kassel. And uh, uh, so everybody, every participant, has his own uh, small uh, memorial pro uh, process. And they designed and they wrote uh, some words about the bias. There was a book with short biographies and photos of the victims, and they wrote uh, uh, some uh, 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 some uh, words on the stone, and uh, but also on the on the paper, and they wrapped the stone into uh, the paper. And I started to read uh, this. Uh, papers and then there were so private messages that I felt to read in a diary of a, of a other person so I uh, didn't touch it and it was completely uh, different from an official uh, memorial but also for example one professor was standing during a documenta in front of the stone collection and uh, he uh, though a name Uh, Wood Baruch, I don't remember exactly which name it was, and then he remembered, I have seen this name, I have seen it uh, some time ago, I know this name, and then he remembered his grandmother passed away, and he had to uh, take the things out of the apartment, and then there was uh, this table clothes and all this material with the monogram, of this family. And then we looked in the uh, direction in the book, it was the same uh, same house. They lived in the same, uh, were neighbors of, uh, of this, uh, of his grandmother. And then he told me, let's uh, uh, see if we find uh, some survivors or uh, some uh, family members of this family. I want to give these things uh, back or another lady Uh, uh, did a social uh, a year in Haifa in a, uh, in a home for old people and uh, she told the old woman 
uh, I dedicated a stone in Kassel for a, a deported uh, Jewish old woman and in this moment uh, this old woman started to cry and it was by accident uh, the mother of this uh, woman. So there can happen a lot of small uh, of small memory, it's open, but if you do uh, a monument in bronze or uh, marble, uh, 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 then uh, uh, it's, uh, it's an official act, but it has not the possibility of such a variation of different uh, histories or stories. muchísimos monumentos sobre eh, la Segunda Guerra Mundial, para conmemorar la Segunda Guerra Mundial, el Holocausto y demás. Pues, eh, para un artista, tener una obra allí eh, es un honor o es una manera de, de quedar un poco invisibilizado entre tantas obras. Es, es, hay una jerarquía y depende que <risa> en qué, qué, qué escalera, qué nivel de jerarquía. <laughs> yeah, I understood the, the answer. <laughs> I, I could do about the question. <laughs> Is it interesting to have so many uh, monuments in the same place, like in Berlin? No, I can. I, I can. Uh, our proposal, and we won a small prize for our idea for the monument of the euthanasia. They were the first victims and now they are the last with their own monument in Berlin in this place where the bus uh, was uh, for one year uh, to mark the place that uh, they should build their new monument. But we were in the competition also, we took part in the competition, but we didn't want uh, to do a new monument. We wanted to mark the corners of this villa uh, t t uh, T4. Like I showed. Uh, 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 with uh, Estelas uh, uh, of the Holocaust Memorial. Because it was the beginning of the, uh, of the Holocaust uh, with these victims to take and to mark in the field of there this uh, uh, Stella, Stella uh, has moved uh, to the Philharmonie to mark this place only to, to take uh, this uh, Holocaust memorial uh, as a yes, as a Steinbock, as a Carrera, Carrera, as a uh, yes, uh, to take this to mark and not to build a new form because we have already uh, too many. Uh, uh, inflation, uh, inflation of uh, of monuments in Berlin. Mm.